A northern Minnesota community is in mourning after a seven-year-old student was hit by a car and killed as he waited for the school bus. Parents, teachers, and faculty struggling with the loss of second grader Anthony Fellman. He was waiting at the bus stop this morning around 7 a.m. when tragedy struck. Ryan Laughlin has the story from Thief River Falls. It's awful. Anytime anything like that happens. Anthony Fellman was waiting with two other students at the bus stop in front of his house this morning. The southbound bus pulled right up to his driveway, but somehow Fellman ended up in the northbound lane. The seven-year-old boy was trying to cross the highway and was struck by another vehicle. A minivan. The speed limit is 60 miles per hour on the highway, and state patrol is still investigating what happened. In the meantime, the community is grappling with grief. A heartbroken for the family and for his friends. I'm just, I'm so sad for this community. Um, it's the second child we've lost in the last several months. I can't even imagine it's going to impact everybody. The school is offering help. How I would approach it is I'd say, you know, I heard something happened at school today with, uh, you know, a, a second grader. And, uh, and I'd start with what I know. The school is offering counseling for students and has advice for parents on how to tackle the tough topic. One of the things that's really clear with uh, young people is we don't give them um, inaccurate perceptions like Anthony went to sleep, okay, and those kind of things. It's really important to use the right vocabulary to speak truth in, and even in those harsh words, Anthony's dead, okay, and uh, he's not coming back. School officials say classes were not interrupted and most students weren't aware of what happened until after school. We're going to get through this, you know. I um, had a chance to talk with the family today. They're doing as well as can be expected. Uh, don't be afraid to uh, talk about it and to, uh, I always refer to as talk about the elephant in the living room. It's a difficult topic. This is the second incident in just four months in Thief River Falls. In July, a 14-year-old boy was hit crossing the road on his bicycle. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.